we have a problem with Charles Stanford, is he? Uh, of course, she's over at the piano, I think. You realize you could blow the roof off this whole thing? Oh, don't be so worried. The only person that she'll recognize from Julian's circle is me. And she knows I was never allowed into the business. As for me being here, she'll just realize that you had the good sense to hire the best decorator in town. Well, that sounds all very good and well, but you listen to me. You made enough bloody noise to get a piece of the action. Now, I'm going to go over and introduce Terry. Your job, partner, is to find Cheryl Stansbury and make sure she doesn't come to any other conclusion. Okay? Okay. <laughs> back a lot of the pain. Oh, really? No, I, I don't think I know him at all. Oh, you really are trembling. Uh, it must just be New York bringing back a lot of memories for you. Why don't you sit down here? There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Uh, my knees just went weak for a second. Uh, such a shock. Well, lucky we got you seated in a hurry. Swooning is definitely declassé in a feminist world. <laughs> So whatever brings you to New York? Well, Robert Scorpio invited me to this opening. And what are you doing? I didn't think <laughs> nightclubbing was your thing. I always thought you were more into intimate soirees. I am the club's decorator. Really? And yes. And the answer to your question is yes. It did cost him a fortune. <laughs> so tell me, is Commissioner Scorpio here? Well, as a matter of fact, no. He got an emergency call from New Jersey or something. He did promise to be here before the evening was out, though. Oh. Look, the reason I don't have an invitation is quite simple. You see, Mrs. Lavery issued it to me verbally. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but you must have an invitation. Yeah. There's no way I can let you in without an invitation. I can see you are sorry. <laughs> Why, have this. Let's get me in. Right. Well, I tell you what. As long as you've got nothing else better to do, why don't you find your boss and tell him that Mr. Scorpio is waiting to see him in his office. Thank you. Yes. Seen all the movie stars with their fancy cars and their limousines. Been high in the Rockies under the evergreen. But I know what I'm needing Don't want to waste more time I'm in a New York state of mind It was so easy Living day by day touch with the rhythm and blues but now I need a little give and take the New York Times the daily What do you mean? 
You get this and you get this straight. You find Victor and you tell him to call me at Duke's immediately. Robert Scorpio is waiting for you in your office. Yeah, thank you. So good. Nothing's wrong, is it? No, I have something to take care of. Very tiny matter. It'll be right. Won't be long. Excuse me. This isn't Port Charles, Mr. Scorpio. Muscling your way into a man's office is not considered police work here. It's downright rude. Just wanted to be sociable. You're out of your jurisdiction. Well, you listen to that. I mean, I just called in here for a nice, quiet chat. Wanted to compliment you privately, of course, on the fixing up the old greenies. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I heard this used to be a mob hangout. Must be the ghosts of a lot of dirtbags hanging about here. Yes, that's possible. Now, you have business to discuss. If you'll excuse me, this is a particularly busy night. Thank you. There is one thing. Well, I've no doubt you'll explain that to me. What is it? When do you think you might be back in Port Charles? Not that it's any of your business, but tomorrow. I don't suppose you could drop by the office for a few minutes, could you? Now, is that uh, an official invitation? Just want to repay the hospitality. Why don't we rejoin the ladies? Something. Yes, I'd love Something to. green in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us. Oh, good time was had by all. Mm, it sure looked that way. And then it was everybody up, up and away, and back on the first shuttle home. Not quite. Uh, Duke and Anna stayed over. Cheryl and I came back on the first shuttle. You and Cheryl? Yeah. Something wrong with them? No, Commissioner. Nothing at all. We had separate bedrooms, if you're curious. No, I wasn't curious. Good, because it has nothing to do with you. Of course not. Nothing at all. Fine. Well, what have we got on our families? All right. We got some pretty interesting family history. Uh -huh. It seems that the Jeromes and the Carters, the animosity between them goes way back to days of prohibition. That far? Oh, yeah. Both families, they were fighting for control of New York City, along with a few lesser characters. And there was just a series of continuing gang wars. I mean, I mean big stuff. A couple of uh, clubs were blown up, people getting shot in the streets all the time. Cops, they always look the other way. Finally, if I got my facts right, somebody called a meeting, and they decided to uh, divide up the property there, the uh, territory. And Carter's drew Jersey. Yeah. Jerome's got New York. But it seems that through the years, the Carters had trouble not crossing over the bridge. Why poor Charles? I mean, what do they want with us? Good question. Excuse me, Commissioner Chief. What you got, Sam? I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, please, Sam. <clears throat> right. Um, but I think we've discovered a clue about Martin Wood's case. 